is to read one of those poems. It was published um, a couple of years ago in a book of uh, poetry that was edited by Lee Bennett Hopkins called America at War. And he asked me to write a Holocaust um, a poem, which I did. It's called Alphabet. What is the alphabet of evil? Auschwitz, Buchenwald, Kelnau, the names of camps rolling off the tongue, the tongue lolling in the mouth, the mouth hanging open, broken teeth, a gasp of breath, the alphabet of death. What is the alphabet of evil? Dachau, Esterwagen, Flossenburg, Gers, the names of camps cramping the stomach, the stomach drained of blood, blood staining the ground, a last breath, the alphabet of death. What is the alphabet of evil? It begins with Adolf Hitler, goes to the Zunder commandos, ends with the ordinary citizen turning in his neighbor a shekel for a traitor, a groat for a Jew. What is the alphabet of evil? Small letters we all know how to say and hope we are never asked in our ordinary lives to say them. I hope we can all be small heroes in a large world. I say that to the grown-ups as well as to the children. Thank you. Uh, she became in Yiddish. The Yiddish word is anuj. She was after me all the time. Finally, to shut her up, I wrote the first chapter. Uh, it was just very similar to the first chapter that's in the book now. And I said, here, here it is. It doesn't work, it can't work, it can't be done. And she sent me, in return, a contract and a check. Something all writers are interested in. Well, not the contract, but the check. Uh, but this is my favorite scene. Uh, it's when Hannah and Rivka are talking in the camp, and Hannah says, ah, we should fight. We should go down fighting. Because she is, after all, a child of today. Uh, she's probably seen a lot of Arnold Schwarzenegger movies, because uh, they're all on television over and over and over again. And Rivka laughs, what would we fight with? With guns. We have no guns. With knives. Where are our knives? With something. Rivka put her arm around Hannah's kind of shoulder. Come, there is more work to be done. <coughs> work is not fighting. You want to be a hero. Like Joshua, Jericho, like Samson against the Philistines. She smiled. I, I want to be a hero like Hannah thought for a minute. Came up with nothing. Who? I don't know. My mother said before she died that it is much harder to live this way and to die this way than to go out shooting. Much harder. Kaya, you are a hero. I am a hero. Rivka stared for a moment at the sky and the curling smoke. We are all heroes here. History is full of heroes. And we, you and I, all of us, we are all heroes here. Maybe not like King Arthur, or Robin Hood, or Joshua Jericho, or Rambo. We are small heroes. Um, that is, after all, what history really is about, the small heroes. The ones who go across the mountains of faith, despite fear. The ones who go into a boat believing that the world is fine. The ones who gave their lives in the camps that others might live. The ones who died in the camps just wanting to live another day. We are all heroes here. That was true back then, and it's true now. Um, it will be true tomorrow. That's what life is about. It is a living and continuous process that we're all a part of. My book begins with the sentence, I'm tired of remembering. It ends with the words, I remember, I remember. Time travel books can give us all, especially you guys, uh, back our cultural and historic memories by making history an experiential act. The first is a poem that I wrote in college. It's called The Rivers of Babylon in Memoriam. 
I am told there is grass at Auschwitz, and people picnic there again beside the iron wall that swallowed the expended children. Good wine, white from the Rhineland, flows from open necks down laughing mouths, and papers litter the ominous mounds, receptacles that cry for truth. If we forget these, will our tongues cleave to dry mouths, or hands hang helpless at our sides? Unstrung the hearts of this new exile whisper from the swaying trees, this exile soft, this new God quick to ease our memories. Is it with humanity more fine we choose to hook him the dead alive with laughter than wail the grave and murdered Jews? And the second one I wrote um, a couple of years ago. Uh, it's called Ich bin a Jude. I am a Jew. Uh, and it's a, a true, uh, it's based on a true Holocaust anecdote that I found in the book. The rabbi's daughter, savaged by a thousand cuts, a thousand bites from Grazia's dogs, called out for each cut, each bite, that she was a Jew and would not kneel. She died on her knees, but not kneeling. For she stood upright at the throne of God. God, I wish I had such courage to not kneel in the face of outrage, the teeth of tyranny, the knives of the unholy. Instead, I change the channels. I turn the page. I write a small poem to the rabbi's, to the rabbi's daughter's honor. I, who do not even know her name. So thank you very much for listening. <laughs>